Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. The day has come for the delivery of the Model 3. Here we are at the delivery center in Dallas, Texas. As you can see, there's a ton of Model 3s everywhere. So let's go ahead and go inside and let the process begin. So one of the most uh, impressive things when you first go to the Tesla Diver factory in Dallas is the sheer amount of Teslas. Uh, coming from Texas, you really don't see this many Tesla, Teslas at all. Uh, in fact, you're lucky if you can see two or three. Um, typically, the most you'll ever see is um, at a Tesla gallery. So this is definitely impressive. Uh, as far as the inside of the delivery center, it's uh, very nice, very sleek. Uh, in the Dallas delivery center, it's uh, pretty much what you're used to uh, seeing whenever you think about Tesla um, and their designs. Um, just a really nice, sleek uh, gallery and uh, wait area. Um, so once we were in, we waited um, probably 15 to 20 minutes uh, until the uh, delivery specialist was able to help us out. We did come an hour and a half early, so we were just happy that they were able to accommodate us in that time. Um, and then there she is, the, uh, the white Tesla Model 3. So the car itself is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm loving the looks. I'm happy with the color I chose. It looks fantastic. Um, it's everything that I, I wanted as far as the aesthetics. Um, now, the one thing that did pop up is as I took delivery and we started walking around the vehicle, we did start noticing cer certain flaws and issues with the vehicle that we pointed out. Um, the first being these tears on the, the rubber pieces of the bumpers um, on both sides of the vehicle. And my biggest concern was when I brought it up to the, the consultant, they kind of dismissed it, which was a problem for me, especially for this price point. Um, not really okay or acceptable to have these types of tears. Um, the other big thing were these gaps in the panel lining. Um, pretty much every door had these gaps. And his response was, hey, this is normal. Vehicles have these issues. Uh, it's going to stretch back in place. Um, and I pretty much you know, state, you know, stood my ground on it and said, no, it's unacceptable. Uh, this needs to be fixed. And I was pretty, uh, you know, enthusiastic about it, you know, paying this amount of money and having these types of issues, uh, is not okay. So the main things again, were the issues with the trim around the doors, the issues with the fenders. And also there was an issue with that, uh, portion of the trim in the, uh, the trunk. So those are the main things. Um, there was also a, a issue with the paint and we did, you know, quote unquote, send it back and the detailers that look at it again and they did fix a couple blemishes on the paint that I pointed out. Um, but the conclusion after uh, we we spoke and, and walked was that they weren't going to be able to fix it today. <clears throat> they didn't have the actual rubber piece in stock, so they're going to have to order that. And I was going to just come back whenever that was in stock. So we did, you know, successfully take delivery. Uh, so here's the Model 3 uh, at the home. It's, it's looking fantastic. I have it in home right now. Um, still getting used to it, still getting acclimated to the new vehicle, but so far I'm, I'm loving it. Uh, my overall impressions of the Dallas, Texas delivery center is that everyone's extremely polite. Uh, they're extremely accommodating. Um, great facility, good location. I did get the overall sense that, you know, they had been working 14 days straight trying to get the rest of the deliveries uh, for them the quarter. I took delivery on March 31st, 2019. So it definitely did seem uh, rushed and I definitely didn't feel like I got the, uh, the best delivery experience. Uh, a little frustrating, but tolerable. I think Tesla definitely has a ways to go as far as improving the delivery experience overall. I think they can do a lot better. Uh, the big things were kind of rushing the delivery center, not really taking time to walk through the, the functions of the car. Um, basically, he basically told me that he recommended that I experiment with the car, and that's the best way to learn, as opposed to actually walking me through the vehicle and showing me. I've actually, you know, had salespeople in the actual stores spend more time with me in the vehicle than the actual delivery agent did. So that was a little disappointing, um, and also kind of the dismissal of the finish issues that I pointed out. Those were the big things. Um, 
but overall, I am loving the vehicle. Um, I'm going to be making a series of videos on this uh, vehicle, um, and I hope you guys just stay tuned and enjoy. Um, thank you for watching. Have a great day.